Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video and to this Inktober series. Today is day four so we will be drawing today a shell. I did uh, I do have a few of them and I was just looking which one I would do so I decided to do this one and I did do also a little sketch here. I will do it now onto my watercolor paper and I am using this sketchbook. This is a sketchbook from Hanemule and 200 GSM. I really do like this sketchbook, quite nice for watercolor. So I will link it down in the description box. Actually, you can find it in my Amazon store. I will link the Amazon store in my description box and you can go ahead and check it out if you're interested. I have de designated this to uh, Inktober and to my sketching and drawings and watercoloring in Inktober. Now let's get started. Also, I am using these uh, these uh, ink pens from Etcher set, graphic set, and I do love it because there is like 16 uh, different, uh, 16 different uh, ink pens that you can use for any purpose. I do love their collection and it is also in my Amazon store if you want to check that also out. So prepare yourself some pencils, some eraser, and let's get to it. First thing we will write here this is going to be a seashell. Seashell. This is October 4th. Like that. So now we can move on to our sketch. <laughs> so as you can see here, it is slightly elongated, not really a circle. So it's going to be a slight slightly elongated shape like that there you go now the center is here and also here that is where we're gonna place our first one then we have the second third and this one on the side so I'm just gonna put them sketch them all in the third one it's gonna go here and then we have this last one here and same thing on the other side so just gonna split them like that and this is going to be the last one so now it's better now we just do our shapes this is just one like a bas baseball bat it does look a little bit like a baseball bat like that and I'm using quite dark pen pencil because I do want you to see my sketch so that's um well I guess it can be not so good this one should be maybe a little bit slightly thinner so this one and the last one that goes here and then it has curve like that going downwards like that. Then on the other side again same thing. I am using this towel because I don't want to crease from my hands on my paper grease but hmm, it does make it a little bit more difficult don't grease your hands before starting to draw it won't be helpful and we have this one a little like that that at the bottom crease There you go. That's nice. And here we have those like that. There, just go in those little lines. And that's it. Now I will just get my ink. This is I'm looking for zero five. I'm just gonna get 
get to it. So going all the way down, also on the other side. I will make this, as you can see, slightly curved. To this one, and then this. All the way down. Just a little bit glue lines here. To the center. Next one also. a little bit to wiggle like that and I'm just gonna connect those and then you can just do again some a little bit wiggly lines here those that are connecting this going inside could be a little bit curvy like that like that and we have one more here like that like that and so this is going to be our shell and i will just erase my pencil lines now just to remove them so I, so i can see where my lines I did with the uh, with pen like that so please just use a lighter pencil and you will be able to clean it easier you maybe not even need to to remove it if it's light enough I would usually use a very very light pencil for my sketch like I believe that's a like 4H or something like that quite light this one is a 4B so very dark HB I usually use when I when I do draw and I do mix it with this but for the for the sketching that I go on top with watercolors I usually use uh, H's some of the H, H4 even 4H even so now that we are done with the basic sketch we can just go on and do a little bit more of the details so first as you can see the shadows the light is going from this way so the shadows are cast on this side i'm gonna do that side darker like that and going also downwards so this is going to be the darkest part cast on the shed where the shadows are cast like that and also I'm gonna do a few lines but first I'm gonna just go all the way to all of them just add those shadows like that the next one Th 
there you go and we have on this side here also it's going to be that that line is going to be quite dark like that and do some shadows here like that and I'm going to do a few lines here also not so dark and on this side like that so we can move on to the next but this one is a, a little there is a little bit less shadow on that side just because it's nearer to the light source closer to so the shadows are also smaller and since it's going this way I'm gonna just do a very t smaller shadow here and then just going downwards again to the center like that and just going up like that so one more this one is maybe the thinnest and closest to the to that border like that so those are our shadows and we're gonna do a little bit more here on our on the edges like that because that part of the shell is also in the shadow we wanted to make it look 3d like there is there is an, a bump and then there is a, a hole right so this one is up and this side is also in the shadow So it's hard now to see that here because I have turned on the lights. The lights are different than I was than when I was sketching this, but we'll manage. So now we do have here on the insides, as you can see, a few lines on our shell. So I'll just add in those lines, those embellishments on our shell going here downwards also like that so there you go and then a few lines and this one we said part is also in slightly in the shadow So we're gonna just do from the side. This is just, you can see how I have turned my pencils. I'm not uh, doing it from holding it uh, vertically, but just, you can see almost horizontally. Just, that is the way I get some broken lines, sketchy, easier. And a little bit less dark later
looks nice at the end. <laughs> wasn't so promising at the beginning, but looks nice at the end. So just a little bit. I'm gonna make this again slightly darker like that. Hmm. I like that. So a little bit more maybe here on the like that. So I do think I love that now. Like that and I think I'm done with the I think I'm done with the pen pen. Just a few like that lines. Actually, this one is laying down, so we're gonna do all the way. Just a few lines. There you go. Now we're done with our sketch. I will be using this Viviva. Actually, I'm gonna use this one, uh, Viviva Colors. And I will be using their magenta and also just a little bit of the yellow ochre and maybe some of the burnt umber. I will see that. So just let's just start with yellow ochre. These are very, very vibrant. So you don't have to use a lot of the a lot of paint at all. So I'm gonna start at those some parts of our shell like that and maybe just go slightly upwards then I'm gonna get some then I'm gonna get some burnt umber mix in with that just a little bit of the burnt umber on the sides like that because I do see some yellows here so like that some beachy beachy colors so very light to wash not all the way just like that a little bit of that color and now I'm gonna also use a little bit of magenta you can see how we have here those lines creases and I'm gonna with that magenta I will just add a little bit of this is actually Persian blue looks very nice a little bit of the Persian blue, a little bit more of the magenta, like that. If I like that color right now, and I'm gonna just add that color I need to clean it a little bit too much. Like that. And just move it slightly. Like that, a little bit here. There you go, little embellishments. And now a few few drops here also. Just again smoothen that out. Like 
there you go and here we have a little bit of that umber like that looks very nice doesn't it not sure about you but I really do like it I'm gonna do a couple of splatters first with that burnt umber and then get a little bit more of the magenta I'll just do a few splatters with that and if you just want to you can add a little bit of the Just a little bit of the details here and there. It's just a clean magenta. Very, as I said, these colors are very, very vibrant. So you don't need a lot of them at all. Just a touch like that. And it's very, very vibrant. Very, very, very. And it dries also very vibrant. So if you want to tone it down slightly, just pick it up with your towel because it won't go very much lighter. Usually watercolors do dry lighter, but these ones are very, very vibrant, even when they dry. And some C color. So I do believe these are very nice. Just a little bit I'm going to add some violet just to make it look violet is a little bit shadowed like color. Let's just dry that. So now that this is more or less dry, <clears throat> I do want to get a little bit more of the ink there. So I will just add here on top where I've added that magenta. I'm going to add a little bit more of the ink. And some here in between to make this slightly darker and to make even more distinction between the the crease and well between the creases Like that. I do think any maybe if you hear these parts are in the shadow. So just to make them look as though they're in the shadow. I really do like that now. So this is one very, very pink shell. <laughs> and if you want to tone it down, you can add on top a little bit of the brownish, but I don't want to tone it down. I do want to make it very, very vibrant and very happy shell. So guys, we are done with October 4th and this fourth of our ink project. And I hope you do like it. You are enjoying this. 
and if you do like it please hit the like button share it in comment there are just many more coming you know it's day four and if you do appreciate this inktober series you might want to say thanks and there is the thanks button also a new feature to my channel maybe click on that and you will get all the info you need to make a decision. If you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Maybe consider joining my channel. There is a lot of real-time tutorials there. And again, thank you, thank you so much guys for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.